Hello, hello, Tatum here. It's day five of our Shape Up September challenge. Today we will work our upper body, arms, and abs. This lower key workout is great after a hard cardio or leg day. Don't let it fool you though. You'll have a good sweat going on with my towel waves and slams. If you are into two a days, then I would do this along with day five or with a cardio session. Thanks for tuning in. I hope that you enjoyed this workout as much as I do. Now click play, follow me, let's get to it. All right, all right. Welcome back. It's day five of our Shape Up September. I'm so happy to have you here with me. Thank you for tuning in. Notice our new board back here. I'm pretty excited about it. <laughs> Ted, let me know what you think and be honest whether you still prefer the orange. This is my actual logo, so I enjoy it. Um, so weight wise today, we'll get right to it. Five pounds, something very light. We're gonna be doing a plank lateral arm raise. You don't even have to use weight. You might just need to raise your arm. I have tens and fifteens, all right? I also have a towel. Oh, we're getting back to the equipment. I'm so sorry, at least for today. A towel, you should have one at home, some sort of beach towel or long towel to use. And I will be using uh, my Anchor Gym minis here with a band. Um, if you have an anchor for your door, you can do this as well. If not, uh, we may just work on doing an arc row here today, okay? So two dumbbells kind of rowing back this direction versus the lat pull down, okay? All right, so we'll do that. That'll be your substitution. I hope you'll uh, stay with me here through this workout. Let's get started. I'm super excited. Let's go with uh, hands on the shoulders, big circles up and around, kissing the elbows. There you go, up and around. We'll make this quick. We have a little less than four minutes to get warm. Not a lot of time. If you need more time, please take it or take your first round easy and lighter, just getting the body prepped for the next two rounds because we will have three sets. All right, reverse it. Uh oh, losing my <laughs> AirPod. Wow, you did. I don't know if that reconnected. We'll see really soon. All right, here we go. Back up and around. Real big. Kiss those elbows again. We had a nice cool day and then it got really humid. I kind of wish I'd fit this in when it was nice and cool. <laughs> All right, good job there. Let's go two bumps, okay? So I want you to reach back and squeeze those shoulder blades and then round them out. Two bumps and a reach. There you go, two bumps, reach. Squeeze, squeeze, <laughs> round. <laughs> there you go. Nice work. Boom. We got it. Give me a couple more here. And we're gonna go into a walkout with rotation, okay? So hands down to the floor, walk yourself out to a high plank. Here we're gonna rotate and open up, pushing into the floor, reaching back. If that's too much, bring a knee down and find this rotation. Back towards the center, come to the other side. Don't rush it, walk it all the way back in. Let's get that shoulder roll up, down, and back. There you go, all the way out again, rotate. Rotate to the other side. Good stretch. Open up as wide as you can there. Let's uh, do a shoulder roll forward this time. Nice and big. Let's give it two. Woo. There you go. Out again. Rotate. Open up again. That knee down if you need to. Don't make this too hard on yourself. I really want you to focus on the rotation. All right, drawing that navel and get that core activated during that two. Let's go back. One, two, last one all the way out, open up wide, reach a little bit further this time as we warm up and loosen up here. Good, or find our balance, find our core strength, and we're forward for one and two. Nice work. Let's go windmills real quick. We do have a little bit of core. I like to twist through the midsection just to warm up. Sometimes I lay down, do knees side to side. This might be my favorite warm up, plus my hamstrings feel really good stretch on this as well. All right, side to side, touch those toes. Good. Then we are gonna go to the floor, actually today. Three, two, we have a minute left. I wanna come down, I wanna activate the core a bit. We're gonna be on our back for these um, exercises today. So knees up here. All right, first maybe feet down, tuck the pelvis, back firm against the floor, lift the knees, keep that uh, tuck. Draw the navel towards the floor, arms above. Let's just hold this for a few seconds. Drawing down, finding our breath while uh, pulling the navel in. Now we're gonna find our brace very quickly, just pushing knees to hands. Feel that come in, the transverse abdominis. that you can really feel that there. Woo, there you go. 
Rib cages kind of push out. You're still breathing, but we're holding that good. Now, hands up again. This time I want you to bring right arm back and left foot out. Opposing arm and leg, and then the other, keeping that back firm against the floor, drawing the navel down, finding the brace across the transverse abdominis. There you go, nice work. All right, we're gonna come up. We're gonna have our pull down here. Remember, you're doing an arc row. Bend right here, same bend, pull back here towards your hips. If you have a band and an anchor, you're going with me here. We're gonna pull back. It's a lat pull down. Imagine the lat pull down machine. Okay, and we're just bent over to do this, okay? So it's the same movement. That's it. Get some tension on the band, and you got it. That's it. Exhale as you pull, inhale as you release. Keep coming. These intervals, this one's a minute. I have a couple 45 thrown in here, then we go down to 30. So we'll just be decreasing our interval time with each exercise. If you want to switch legs here, you can. I always keep a foot back or a kickstand because you never know if a band is going to make it through all that strength that you're using here to uh, pull that band. You might just snap it. Who knows? Three, two, and one. Rest. All right. Reverse curl to press. I'm going to try tens just to give you an idea. Uh, not too heavy on this one. It's a lot of forearm. Uh, it's kind of hard to do versus the regular underhand grip here. So. Palms down, here we go. We're gonna curl up and go into an overhead press, back down. Make sure you don't throw the weight or your body into this. Make sure it's weight that you can actually curl up here. Good. That's it, and overhead. Good job. We're halfway, so right here to press. Back down. We're going to grab our towel for some waves here in a bit. 10 seconds. Not a lot of cardio. I got a couple things to get us going. Not much. Three, two, and one. Just a lot of good strength here, okay? Put those weights down. Oh, my chipmunk is back. We have a little chipmunk around here. We're going to do towel waves, okay? So we're just going to give it a little here. And we're gonna do five waves. One, two, three, four, five. And now we're gonna slam. One, two, three, four, five. And then five waves. One, two, three, four, five. And jump slam. One, two, three, four, five. And wave. Three, four, five. And slam. One, two, three, four, five. Waves. Two, three, Four, five, and jump. One, two. You can raise up on your toes and get a squat if you don't want to jump here. Waves. One, two, three, four, five, and jump. One, two, three, four, five. Good. One, two, three, four, five. Rest. Woo! All right, we're going to come down to the floor. We're going to pull our weight over. I think I'm going to try a 10 here to start. We're gonna pull over, pulse crunch, or crunch, two crunches here, back down. Here we go, three, two, and one. Pull over, reach here for a little crunch, bringing the shoulder blades off. Now, we practice during warm up, keeping that lower back firm against the floor, and making sure that we found our brace, that we found our drawing in maneuver. Okay, you want that here. If you bring those feet down and you feel a huge arch, I want you to um, modify that uh, angle there, okay? That's a rest, good job. So be careful on that one. You can even bend your knees on that. Just be really careful. We wanna get that core strength to draw in and brace before we let those legs, uh, before we extend them at full and really lower to the floor. Eight seconds, we're going back to those pull downs. Let me show you this arc row real quick. Everybody else with your pull downs. Three, two, and one, bent over pull down. Here, you wanna keep the C in your, like at a light, that soft elbow, a little bit of a C in your arm. You don't change it, and you're just pulling back, okay? That gets lats, this gets lats. We're all good. Here we go. We're working. I hope everybody else found that pull down. Find your tension. I'm gonna get back a little bit with this one. 
There we go. I probably should have pulled or found a heavier band, but that's okay. The other thing you can do is grab up a little bit higher on these bands. All right, and find a little more tension. There we go. We're halfway. Pull back, bring those elbows down. That's it. We're bent over. Switch my feet again. That's it, good. Feels good, feeling those shoulder blades slide up and down. Squeeze those elbows down and back. Nice work. And then you wanna keep those shoulders away from your ears. We don't wanna reach and extend, okay? Keep them down and back, so you're only gonna release to that point. All right, we're back to those reverse curls. Find your weight to a shoulder press. Palms down, okay? Three, two, and one. Here we go, we're gonna curl, keeping those elbows in place to press. Nice work. Woo, it's hot. Great job. So today's workout again, let me just talk about this for a minute. Not every day should be a hard day. I think I had a question about that. I'm gonna get to that answer here. You know, how do you, I do a pretty, um, I really do try to plan these out a little bit for you. We're halfway here in terms of like, are we doing total, upper, lower? Do we have a hard with an easy day? I try to do that. You want hard and easy days. You don't wanna tax your body every single day too much. You can work out every single day. You can move every single day. Three, two, and one. No one to rest your body though. Nice work. Back to those towels. Uh, point being um, is that this is a, a little bit of a lower day. Uh, upper body typically is. It's a nice complement to legs or higher cardio bouts. Three, two, and one. Here we go. Let's uh, do waves. One, two, three, four, Five, we're gonna change it over to slams. You can do a squat or you can jump with me. Give me two more. One, two, good. Waves, one, two, three, four, five. Slams, one, two, three, four, five. Waves, one, two, three, four, five. And jump, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And jump, one, two, three, four, five. This feels good. <laughs> two, three, four, five, and jump. Two, three, four, five. Good job, rest. If you have a battle rope at home, I need to get mine out and show you that. You can do that as well. Pullovers for the abs. I'm gonna go with that 10 again. Three, two, and one. Here we go, pull that weight over. Reach. You could just keep your feet up and hold and reach for a modification. You could bend. You could come here and crunch, okay? And reach one, two, sorry, right here. So you have some options, all right? Modify, be careful. You could do one leg at a time, too. One, two, lower to help out with that core strength, okay? Nice work, that's a rest. We have one more round, take a sip of water. Shoes just waited, forgot I wrote in a little bit of rest between these for a sip of water. All right, 30 seconds. Now 14, <laughs> that goes quick. <laughs> Bent over, pull down, I'm gonna do here, okay? Really pulling back, squeezing all under here as you pull down with those elbows, pulling back. Three, two, oh, and I'm gonna grab a little bit higher up on this. And here we go, we're working. Make sure you have a little bit of a kickstand just in case, just in cases. <laughs> Anybody seen Love Actually? Oh, I like saying just in cases. If you don't know what that is, comment if you know what that is. All right, there you go. Keep working, 40 seconds to go here. Squeeze and pull down. We're doing three sets, we're almost there. We're gonna finish this one up. We'll have a little bit of rest. We have another circuit, same setup, different exercises and we're gonna work there. We're over halfway. Great job, control the band, don't let the band control you. Pull down, squeeze, pause, and then release with uh, good control. Don't just pop it forward here, okay? There you go, squeeze and control, nice and slow. Good control. That's it, exhale, inhale as you release. Three, two, 
and one, rest. Oh, that feels good. It's just like a massage on the muscles. That's how you have to think of lifting weights. <laughs> You're crazy, Tatum. No, it feels like a massage on the muscles. All right, three, two, one. Reverse curl, elbows in place to press. Awesome, there we go. Control. If you feel any kind of pain in your elbows, wrist, shoulders, somewhere in a joint there. Please don't do it or try lighter weight first. Maybe it's just too heavy. Go a little lighter, see if that fixes it. If not, you could find a regular curl to press, palms in, change it up. We're halfway. Good work, back to that towel. Bringing that heart rate up just a bit. Still working arms, working core. And that went, well, legs too, because we're jumping. <laughs> I put a total body in that exercise. Three. Two, and one, rest, all right. Back to that towel. I don't know about you, but I'm super excited about this. I'm gonna distress it a little bit. <laughs> Not that I really know what I'm doing with that, but you'll see it on day six. Three, two, and one, here we go. One, two, three, four, five. I did that a little quick, here we go, and slam. One, two, three, four, five, waves. One, two, three, four, five, and slam. One, two, three, four, five, and waves. One, two, three, four, and five, and slam. Two, three, four, five, waves. One, two, three, four, five, and slam. One, two, three, four, five, waves. One, two, three, four, five, slam. Two, three, four, five, come on, one, two, three, four, and five, rest, all right. Pull over with those abs. Mm, I don't know, I'm gonna try it. Might regret it, all right. But it doesn't hurt to try a heavier weight. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work, put it down, at least you know. Here we go, pull over, crunch for two. That's it, modify those legs, modify your weight here. You may not use any weight at all, just getting started. And definitely single leg, bent knees, until you can draw that navel down and hold it nice, that back nice and firm against the floor while you're lowering. That's it, good. Try to get the shoulder blades up off the floor on these crunches. And that's rest, yes. One minute of rest. Let's take it. You're doing awesome. We're gonna go into another circuit. Let's talk about those. We have, I'm not gonna pick up my weights, I'll show it without. You may not use weight anyways. We're gonna come down, plank with a lateral arm raise. It's tough, I'm using fives. Okay, you might use threes. You may just raise your arm, especially if you're just getting used or getting stronger in your plank. So right here, out to the side and down. I'm gonna have two weights for me, two dumbbells here, out to the side. You work just getting that arm up off of there if you want. If that's too much today, just come here. Just do some lateral arm raises standing, it's okay. We're gonna go halos around the head, up and around. We have a bent over row to kick back. And we're gonna have these banana little splits that we're gonna do for the core. So push up with that lateral raise. It's a long minute plank. You can go to your knees. What I would do is start here if you can, and then go up to that lateral arm raise standing if this gets to be too much. All right, and if it hurts your hands, simply keep the weights in the center and switch hands. There you go, good job. Alternating, you can spread those feet for some stability here. Keep those hips level to the floor. We're halfway. So if you stuck, if you stayed with one side on this lift, you can switch. You can come up and stand and do your lateral arm raises. If the plank is too much today, this is just a, you know, hybrid um, combined movement here. So it's tough. You do you. Modify. Find your challenge. And a minute's a long hold. <laughs> or maybe you can do this for 30 seconds or 45 seconds and take some rest. There's our rest. We're gonna grab some weights for Halo. I'm gonna use my 15. We're gonna go up and around. We're gonna drop it behind our head, open up the chest and shoulders, 
bring it around. And I'm gonna alternate the directions from clockwise all the way around to counterclockwise all the way around. Good, now, rotating like this makes me wanna move all through my <laughs> trunk there, okay? I want you to try to stabilize the trunk, okay? I wanna see if you can stabilize your hips and your trunk here, your abs, your core, by just drawing in, bracing through these movements. See, you're gonna move a little bit, but see if you can do that. Tighten up through there and see how more efficiently your arms wanna move up and around, okay? There you go. Now, if you have some immobility issues in the shoulder, go lighter. See if you can just work on bringing that weight down and around, opening up the shoulders there. Okay, 10 seconds rest. Bit over row to kick back. I'm gonna try 10s on this just to give you an idea of a place to start. You might go eights, fives, you might do 15s. Here we go. We're gonna row, bringing those elbows up at 90 degrees here, and then we're gonna kick it back without any swinging, and then bring it back in and down, reset. Row, kick back, all right? A lot of times we wanna row, and then we wanna kinda swing, and just swing them back and forth here. It might look like this. Slow down, control it. We're not gonna get um, any strength if we're just swinging around the weights, okay? Momentum is helping you too much. Make the muscles do the work. There you go, kick back. They wanna do the work. Yes, they do. <laughs> you tell them they do. There we go. Up and down, we got this. Nice neutral spine in the back. Three, two, and one, rest. All right, these banana splits we should have gone over earlier. All right. Whew. We're gonna go in the center here. We're gonna go one, two jackknives, and then I'm gonna have you roll to your side and back, okay? Two more, one, two, to the side and center. Just like that. Good control. Again, those legs are down, so be careful here. We might wanna go more of this reverse crunch here and then roll to the center and back to modify. Always bringing the knees in to modify the uh, leg lower, okay? That's rest, nice work there. Woo! All right, plank here. Ah, and you know what? We have 30 seconds here, let's take it. <laughs> we just did a plank with that lateral, we're gonna add a push up here. If you wanna stand up, if you wanna just work push ups, you can, okay? Um, I would get a chest in today, so maybe I would do those. Um, you might even do them from your knees, so you could go here and then lift your arm out, okay? But we're gonna add a push up in here. Here we go, push up, then a lateral arm raise. Hoo ah there you go, sorry. I missed that last time. We may finish 10 push ups at the end just to make up for it. Oh yeah, yeah we will. I do it in my class. <laughs> just we're gonna pretend we're over at the gym today. There's not a timer going. When we missed an exercise, what are we gonna do? We're gonna add it to the end and we're gonna finish it up before, uh, during our rest time today. That's right, don't let me forget. Out to the side. And we'll just do the push ups. We're halfway. We'll just do the push ups since we did the lateral arm raise. Good. Whew. Good job. Now, something else you can do to modify. Maybe your push ups aren't full. So you come to a kneeling push up. So maybe that plank is really good. So you get to the toes and you do your lateral arm raise and you modify between the two. From a modified push up, kneeling push up, to a full plank here, lateral arm raise. Three, two, and one. Rest. Awesome. Oh, wow. I'm glad I got this towel here. Halos are up next, okay? Let's grab that dumbbell. Sort of a medium weight is nice. Unless your shoulders need a little bit more mobility, I would go fairly light and work on it, as long as it doesn't hurt. Here we go. We're going to clockwise and counterclockwise this rotation. Again, don't want you loose through your core. Right now I'm loose. I just don't feel like I have very much power. I feel like I might hurt myself. <laughs> so I want you to draw the belly button in and up. I want you to find your transverse abdominis by kind of expanding your rib cage, <sighs> kind of blow out, expand it, feel that tightness and hold on to it. Good, up and around, nice work. Drop that weight, open up, shoulders and chest here. Woo, tighten up. 
Nice work. Three, two, and one. Rest, you rock. All right. Dumbbell row to kick back. Remember, um, another thing, just remember that neutral spine. If you're having trouble with it, you could stick with um, a hand here for support for your core if you're tired, and you could row and kick with one. I'll tell you when we're halfway. I believe my timer is gonna tell us that. Up and down here, okay? Row, neutral spine. What's that mean? It means I'm not tucked and rounded here, trying to do it this way. All right, it's not good for the back. If you're a little bit, well, even then. Let's just work on that neutral spine. We're not gonna go there today. <laughs> row. Kick it back, triceps, squeeze those arms. We're halfway, we're halfway if you did one arm. That's it. Remember, we gotta control this weight. It's so easy if we just swing it, okay? We can make it really easy, but we don't want that. We want that challenge. You wanna find your challenge there. Good, that's it. Three, two, and one, rest. All right, let's go with those jackknives to a little tipping boat, <laughs> a little scary. The boat tips to the right, no. Here we go, jackknife, one, two, roll to your side just a little bit. Ooh, we gotta draw in, stabilize, come to the center. One, two, to the left. And remember to bend those knees if you need to, or halfway. Draw down and in, it's hard. There's a lot of movement going on here. So trying to focus on what your stomach is doing and what your arms and legs need to be doing is a lot. That's why we practice and rest. Good job. 30 seconds here, we're on our last one. Other than our push-ups that we're gonna have to repeat, I'm so sorry. Clean up my mess. All right, here we go, get into position. Plank push-up, you can do from your kneeling the push-up. Then go up into a plank. If you, if you have trouble lifting your arms off, maybe you just tap out in front. So maybe instead of out to the side, you just tap. Tap and get used to moving your hands in that plank. Different ways to modify. Uh, just getting started. Here we go, push up. If you're there, lateral arm raise. Oop, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a push up each time. I wanna work these push ups. You can do a push up to lateral and lateral if that's better for you today because the push ups are tough. If you want more push-ups, you're gonna push up, raise that right arm, push up, raise that left. I don't mean to be wishy-washy, I'm just giving you options. I like to give options because we're all different. We're all on our own journey. We've all had a different day, a different amount of rest, sleep, food, whatever it is. Mm, we all need different things. There you go, you got it. Woo! Gonna. And you can always modify, switch. So maybe you start with those push-ups, one-to-one -one here. And then maybe you're like, oh, those push-ups are losing form. I'm gonna have to do both arms before I do another push-up. Three, two, and one, rest. Oh my God, that's the, well, kind of the last one. Halos. All right, glad that big towel is here. Three, two, and one, here we go. Up and around, show this from the side this time. Up and around. Whew, nice and tight through the core. Been trying to teach this to some of my kids that I train, just trying to be really stiff as a board, you know? I, I often refer to, you know, when you look at a runner on the track, sprinting and how stiff they are. I mean, they don't waver. They just don't waver, good, all the way around. Think about that as you work here. Join in, I'm tight. Even though that's not the focus here, just, this is not, I mean, there's abs. I'm sorry, there's abs in everything. Even the plank we did with the lateral arm raise, there's abs. So every time you can focus on tightening up and stabilizing, the better off you are. Three, two, and one. And it just takes practice. Don't get frustrated, just keep practicing. All right, row to kick back. I think it's raining again. It's such a pretty day. It's gone from sunny, cool, to muggy. It's a little bit of this little rain that's nice with cloud cover. I'm gonna miss it when winter comes. There we go. Row to kick back. Remember, you can do one side if you want. Neutral spine here. Row, kick back. Squeeze the back of those arms. Lovely bat wings here. Trying to touch on those. We're halfway. Halfway if you need to switch 
to the other arm if you chose singles, which is fine. It's one way to get through this interval as well. You either cut the interval short, you go to singles. That's fine. Good. Three, two, and one. Rest. All right. Nice work. Here we go. Last one in this series, in this set, other than us going back and getting 10 push-ups in, okay? Sorry, I can't let you go without it. You're, it's gonna bother you all day. I know it will. Here we go. Two jackknives. Give me a little tipping boat, sinking boat. <laughs> Up. There you go, I'm sorry. I have a big imagination when I work out. Here we go, to the side, you got it. And up, one, two, draw that navel down, okay? Right here, we don't want our boat to go underneath our back here. Talk about a bridge here. All right, that's our cool down, but before I let you do that, because I don't want this to bother you all day, that we missed that first one, and maybe you did, or no, you didn't, because it was the first one. You didn't even know. We're gonna go into push up here. 10 of them. I'm not gonna let you go until you do them. You can find an incline on this one if you want. So you can do a full plank if you're at your knees, which is really nice because you'll have more core in there, right? You can do a wall too, all right? My wall is still drying. I'm not gonna touch it yet. <laughs> here we go, push ups. And let's do this all the way to the floor. So we're gonna come all the way down, touch our belly and our chest. You can almost just relax. And then you're gonna draw that stomach in, squeeze your glutes, your thighs, so your thighs are not on the floor. And we're gonna push through. There you go, all the way down. And two, come on, let's do it, to 10. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You got it, one more. Ooh, 10, all right, good job, good job. Nice work, let's go ahead and stretch over here. Let's just stay here. I'm gonna have you come back here into kind of a slight child's pose at first with the bottom down, just reaching, pulling out of those shoulders. You can bring your forehead to the floor if you want. And while I have you here, if you enjoyed this video, just go ahead and click that like button, that thumbs up. Uh, be sure to subscribe, hit the, the bell, make sure you don't miss these workouts. Now I want you to bring that bottom up into the air, kind of towards the ceiling. Arms stretch out wide. I want you to bring that chin to the floor. Cross through the chest here, chin to floor. Oh yeah. And breathe. Not a pretty position to be in, but you know, we're in our own homes, it's okay. Nobody's watching. <laughs> Except for me here, that's all right. Oh, good job. Now, just, we could stretch our legs. We didn't use a lot of legs other than the towels that we slammed with. Why don't you go into a frogger, with those uh, toes out, but I just like these this combined stretch here. So just push back gently, not too far. Now I want you to walk your hands all the way over as far as you can go. And if it's okay, stack that left hand on top of the right and reach. Stretch through your side there, through your lats, down to the obliques, maybe you feel that. If you're stretched out enough, Good, we're gonna come up and over to the other side. As far as you can go. Whee. Right hand on left. Fall into that. Good, come back to the center. Let's go ahead and lay down on the floor here. I want you to push up into a mini cobra just to kind of stretch out the abs here from um, those exercises that we did today. If you want to push up a little bit further, feels good to me. Open up those hips by pushing a little further. Look right, look left. Come back down, arms out wide like airplane wings. Let's bring this foot behind us. Gentle on the floor, just a kickstand so we don't go too far. I can never go too far, I'm too tight here, but stretching our shoulder and our chest is where you wanna feel this. So you're kind of pushing in and back here to get that stretch. Some of us will be able to raise our arm or maybe reach back, Ooh, not me. Maybe push here, maybe you just need to stay right here, that's enough today. All right, good, other side. 
I'm gonna turn away from you, that way you can kind of see what that looks like behind. I hope my arm looks like an airplane wing. There you go. Reach up if you're there, maybe the arm is down. Oh, I feel this side a little bit more. Just let it go, breathe. You wanna be able to breathe. Ooh, there comes the rain and the wind, yay. Come back to the center, another little cobra here. Push up, look right, look left, right. Nice work, come up. Last one, we have 24 seconds. We're just gonna thread very quickly. We're gonna stay here a few seconds extra. Head down, reach overhead. Just make sure your temple's on the floor here, forehead. There you go. That's it, just press the arms, both arms and our hands into the floor. All right, timer's going, but give me the other side. Reach all the way through, arm overhead. Push both hands into the floor. Breathe through that. Five, four, three, two, and one. Gently come out of that. All right, that is it today. Hey, thank you so much for joining me on day five. Let me know what you think about my new board here. I'm super excited because this is my actual logo. So it makes me very happy to see it in its full um, color here. So anyways, uh, we'll see you on day six, and I'm super excited to continue this Shape Up September with you. Don't forget to tell your friends and have your friends tell a friend. It's only going to help us continue to bring these videos to you five days a week. All right. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.